Hello everyone and welcome to my class. I'm Professor Oren Otter and uh, in case you're wondering, no, I'm not a real professor but I'm the one teaching this class so you have to call me that. Well, you don't have to but I like it. A um, little background on why I'm teaching this course. I was recently blessed with the arrival of a beautiful little girl into my life by the name of Aurora who unfortunately is nearly stone deaf. I did not speak any sign at the time, so I have been learning. The first thing I did was go to YouTube to see if I could find some video lessons in sign language, and I was very surprised at the lack of any available video lessons. So I'm creating my own. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is uh, going to be creating a program of three courses. The first course will be beginning sign where I will be uh, speaking spoken English and teaching sign. That will be 40 classes long. Then we'll have 30 classes in intermediate sign in which I will be both speaking aloud and signing. And then finally advanced sign class where the entire thing will be in sign language, or at least primarily. Now, if you would like to join this program, uh, I will be assigning homework. Just uh, post your homework as a video response to these videos. So, uh, why learn sign language? Well, number one, to communicate with the deaf, of course. Um, if it's a matter of a Spanish-speaking person or a German-speaking person or whatever coming to your country, they can learn your language. A deaf person doesn't have the luxury of going to night school to learn to hear. And so we have to take that extra step if we want to open up communication with them. And believe me, it is worth it because some deaf people have some wonderful things to say. Uh, it is a universal language, especially among American Indian tribes, for example. Those who cannot understand each other's spoken languages can still understand sign because the sign languages are so similar. So you can effectively communicate with people all over the world by learning sign language. And of course, you may be deaf yourself someday. It happens. Nobody wants it to happen, but it does, and it's great to be prepared. So I myself have taken it upon myself to learn both sign language and Braille. I won't be teaching Braille in these videos, but, you know, it never hurts. Um, oh, what I'm going to be starting off with is the very basic sign alphabet. If you don't know the science for anything else, you can use the sign alphabet to communicate. It's pretty slow, but it works. So, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Few basic pronouns. I, very naturally easy to understand, or is the way my teacher taught me, I, both of those work. You, we, the gesture encompassing everybody, and of course, that, you just point to whatever it is. Some basic words that you're going to learn in order to learn sign language. Word, you're basically making the sign for Pluto in front of your mouth. This is word. Sign. L for language. Language is actually like this, and this is sign. So, 
sign language. Name, that's name, and a similar sign, correct, with the fingers open. Oh, your homework for this lesson is to spell your name like this. My name O R E N. Thank you for joining us and uh please come back again for lesson number 2.